Alright then, so let's, let's start, start it. it. Really? This is it? What? Nothing more, I mean, something more in magic, something more, I don't know. Huh? Okay, fine. Alright, Little by little. Let's get started. Okay, this was the original sketch that I prepared in advance. These are a little modification that I take. As you can see, I prepare another, uh, other trees, other rivers, another wall. And the shadow on the new moon, I didn't like the view of the planet that it had in the, the beginning, and even also the tower that is in the, in the land. Okay, here I'm starting with the plastic stencil. It's a uh, um, hydro adhesive uh, plastic stencil. And uh, with the normal marker trotter pen, uh, I'm checking all, I'm remarking all the scratches that I make in advance. In the beginning, on the first zipper that I was preparing, I was drawing and making the sketch straight away on the zipper with pencils or even with throttle pens. And after I, I recovered this technique with the plastic stencil, the removable sort of plastic stencil, this, this gave me the, actually the advantage to prepare in advance all different stencils. As you can see here, I prepared two walls, uh, and after I had also the possibility to choose between them two. This is actually a big advantage because you have possibility as you as you are working with a pencil or even prepare a lot of sketches of the same subject and after have a possibility to choose between them. Here I'm just uh, can carry on to remarking all the different hills in the view and rivers and the trees. What is important in this moment? It's just to have a more linear and clear and actually easy draw on the stencil because after all the shadows you just want to have an idea of what you are drawing in this moment after during uh, the job you're gonna add uh, shadows or all the details you're gonna add it after doing the work And this is it. This is the stencil, or actually half of the stencil. Now I'm just gonna finish it with the sky, with the moon reflecting the shadows of the wall. And the job is pretty much done. After that, I can start to engrave. Indicating the verse and the sense uh, in where I'm actually going to engrave after. I'm gonna explain you after when I arrive at that point. Now, as I said before, this stencil is particular and I really love it because of this. Is then you can activate the glue on the other side of the stencil with water. When you do it, doing adding water on the stencil or even water on the zippo, you can stick on it. The stick of this amazing stencil is amazing. Amazing, amazing. I mean, you can really engrave on it with a stencil, pass through the plastic, start to engrave the metal, have a straight line, the stencil is still there. Unless, after you want to see my video, 
actually I mean, uh, if you don't add enough water in some points you don't have enough glue and of course you're gonna lose the stencil after uh, all the, the vibration that you're gonna have during the engraving procedure. Here I'm using a 108 uh, point of uh, Dremel. As you can see, I move the zippo a lot because I'm trying all, uh, always to draw vertical lines and never um, horizontal. I explain better. If you make a straight line with the Dremo, and you are um, if you make a straight line for me, if you make a straight line with the Dremo. And you follow the sense of rotation of the dream and you're gonna, not gonna have problem because if you lost the point uh, where you are making a line you're gonna go in the same uh, direction as you was going before okay coming back at the video this is when i take out the stencil taking out all the metal now you're gonna see better but you don't have uh, a complete job done yet you have just an older sketch you have just a sketching metal this time now you have a good base to start to engrave to properly draw on the metal now taking as an example your original sketch just to have an idea of perspective of the original idea that you get you can start to make the main job as you can see now the line is more decided it's not even a stretch it's not a um, delicate line in this moment is the actual line that I'm drawing on the zippo so I wanna have a decided line a good color a good mark a good consistency draw in this particular painting when I really want oh, sorry okay. this particular draw this particular job where I really wanna have uh, this uh, strong difference between shadows, lights uh, and line, I'm gonna have a really a strong remarkment the development of remarkment uh, between the shadows, between the colors that's why the lines are this marked in this job these are the trees, I really like all the particles that are actually floating around the metal during this procedure And when I finish with the, in the last um, part of the video, with the last line of the moon, I'm starting with the plain shadows of the moon. This was a particular point because, um, as I was saying before, if you change the sense of rotation, the sense of job, like when you're uh, drawing with a pen or making a plain color with a pen, you can't change the sense of your hand. Because of course you're gonna create problem, you're gonna create contra contrasts then after with reflection of light and all the shadows is gonna be a mess. This is the clean job. Now changing the point and taking a metal brush, I'm trying to add uh, reflection and uh, reflex and uh, shadows of the painting. I'm trying to doing this uh, in uh, with two methods: adding shadows so staying uh, actually burning the metal uh, staying on the same place for a long time uh, and actually taking out the first reflective metal part and having a more uh, brushed a more uh, darker part under it and uh, also doing, using the same technique as i was saying before changing the angle so when I've got a different reflection of light I'm gonna have uh, leather shadows I'm gonna have uh, um, a more clear or a more darker part of the metal just because of the reflex and also because of the time that I spend in the same part so you're gonna have a more burn part or a more uh, reflecting part here are the last shadows of the rock and uh, on the river after this I'm just gonna have to finish it with the moon 
and with the stars. Keep a straight face when I'm burning like fire, and you walk outside. That's it. That are the last shadows of the moon. This is pretty much the job done, and now some pictures. As you can see, I really love the shadows in this one. I love the perspective. I love how the light uh, reflects on the moon and in the trees. This is one. Uh, this is a picture without the flash, so with the original light of the room. I love the perspective of this job. Quite happy about the result. This is the difference between the sketch and the actual job that I've got done at the end. And that's it. This is the job done inside this box. Alright then, so that was actually the procedure. This is uh, uh, the Zippo that I made. This was actually a special request because they asked me to do this Zippo with this wall, with this uh, um, particular figure on it. And And I'm quite proud of it. Actually, it's a really well done job. It's a brand new Zippo. And uh, yeah, this was a, that's how I, how I do it. So, this was Tita here. So, thank you for everything. Um, don't forget to comment uh, and uh, give me some advice uh, on how to improve my videos, how to do it better. If you have any requests about other Zippos, or if you have any questions, I'm really happy to answer about it. Not just about Zippos, but about the carving in general, or if you have other questions. This is just the first video, so I'm hoping on all the ideas and all the comments. That was Tita here. This. Uh